Welcome to another episode of My Messy Garage. <laughs> Y'all, I've been busting my ass all day on this, and it don't look like much, but I want to show you something. Um, I moved my freezer to over here. Now, should I have been lifting that and moving it around? No, but it is what it is. I've carved out a little honey hole. Look right here. I, uh, I'm going to have to redo that cord and put it elsewhere, I think. But I've got a table back here. And I'm going to make this happen. This, this was made for me. Right here, that was made for me. It's a wood burner. That came off an old bar wall. <laughs> I may have walked out of it, out of the bar with it one night. They were closing down my favorite bar, and I said, well, you're going to do this to me? I'm going to take your sign. Nobody ever said anything. <laughs> they know where to come get me. Um, it's even got phone numbers still on it. So, anyway... That's going to be it, folks. That's going to be... I'm going to try to have a little space out here. I was going to put the desk over here, but I was like, I cannot block this door. If something happens or something goes happens and needs to come open, I need to have that door open. This opens up completely. This folds down into a ramp. And so when it gets done being freezing as cold and not blistering as hot, I may lo lower that ramp and just sit out here and chill. You know, I don't know. I still got a long ways to go. To get it all figured out. But at least I've got a start. And I've got my big ironing board out here. This is an actual antique ironing board. It's got a metal frame. Metal base. And I put a cheap dollar store cover on it. Because they're so thin. Um, I put it on there. Because uh, you want a hard surface. When you're pressing your quilt pieces. And so with that being so thin. And that being pure metal under there. It works out perfectly. And I don't have to make a pressing board. Which in reality would help you know, a small pressing board. And I may try to do that. So I don't have to keep opening up this, but you know, it works. It works. So anyway, and like I said, I'm not going to put much on the walls. I wish I could find a better solution to hold my pots and pans, but it is what it is. Cause upstairs is all full. The cabinets are full. So anyway, I know it's kind of boring video, but I'm kind of excited, guys. It took me a while to make this happen. Y'all take care.